hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's still your girl beauty and this is gossip headquarters so guys i have always promised i was going to update you and i'm going to still update you i have just been busy lately okay but here we are today to update you about the issue of mobile and i don't know what you guys think about it in a recent video a very dark man was able to prove us some point to us but before going down to what a very dark man say i want us to quickly touch what Wumi, the wife of late Sika Mobad, said in a post shared by iyabo ojo and in that particular post she said she was not going to say anything yet now she's going to wait till on the seventh right yeah on the seventh when she's going to come out to say everything she knows and that that DNA test is something she's going to do that the DNA test is a must. Now, why I brought out this issue first is that this lover is really going to lose his or her credibility to the publicity of a very dark man if he or she continues in the path she or he is going through right now. Yes. In a post shared by this lover, he or she mentioned that Wumi has done a DNA test and congratulations that Mobad legacy lived on. And if the wife is coming to say this now, that DNA test is what she's going to do, is contradicting what this lover also has said in their earlier post. So, with that, I want to bring a very dark man's point. In a viral video shared by a very dark man, here he highlighted some portion of the video made by um, Iyabo Ojo, yeah, Iyabo Ojo, where she mistakenly spilled some things she was not supposed to say. He's really not bringing out what we have used sentiment for. Now, a very dark man have always argued that Iyabo Ojo is not fighting for justice. That these people painted a false narrative in the beginning of this case. And with what is happening now, I am forced to believe that a very dark man is saying the truth. Yeah. If you still doubt what a very dark man is saying, then you have to hear this from me. Which is, a very dark man said, Iyabo Ojo and the uh, Clef, yeah, they are fighting a political fight of which he has called on Sam Clef severally and he has even sworn with his car keys that if what he's saying is not true, this and that should happen to him. And on the other hand, Iyabo Ojo said Naira Mali kept on spiking his children's food with drug. Eh, uh, you go to put drug on my children's food. And you said you don't have a personal relationship with this person. So tomorrow now, because of a very dark man, Iyabo Ojo has spilled the bean that his children are drug addicts, right? And it can be used against her because he was getting low with this man who already told you guys that you will exchange your publicity or your credibility for his publicity. But then, with the way things are going, we all can clearly see that this fight is really beyond justice. So I want to drop that video where a very dark man highlighted the portion of Iyabo Ojo spilling some bean, where Iyabo Ojo received some alleged gifts from a boyfriend who was known as Naira Mali. So guys, I will drop the video for you guys to watch. If this is the first time you are coming across this channel, please hit the like button, subscribe and turn on your post notification. So that whenever we drop just like this, you will be notified and you'll be the first to watch. And to my returning subscribers, may God bless you. Thank you for sticking with us on this channel. But do us well to tell us your own take on the comment section. Do you think a very dark man is fighting a good cause? Or you think these celebrities, they are the ones that are fighting a good cause, but he was able to bring out some things 
to prove them otherwise. I will see you guys on our next video. Bye. Is it that same Sam Larry? Um, when Sam Larry, I'm married to Mama Ron and we're molested. Adi, to Mama Ron and we're molested. Even my children go to his house. That I was thinking is a sensible person. That will be giving them drink take. Be putting it in their food and in their drinks. Is it that kind of person you want me to support? You remember what I said, yeah? I said I will force the truth out of these people. The truth of this whole matter will come out soon. I said it. Now, this particular video was cut out of the video she did because of me. And yeah, they go carry this one. Come on. When she did talk, she can't lose guard. Now, let's enter inside this case. She said if her kids go to Neramali's place, that Neramali usually put drugs in their drink. It laces their drink. First of all, so your kids have a personal relationship with Neramali. That means you people were very close at the level until things got sour. That means you have a personal interest in all these things. But let's move on. You say Neramali laces your kids' drink. Before somebody go lace person drink, it's either maybe in one knock the person or maybe in one steal from the person. We all know Neramali knows if steal from your kids. And from the way you talk, you definitely no knock your kids. That means the truth is either, here's the truth about this case, it's either you are lying because you did not report it to the police. You would have got him sued if you were saying the truth. It's either you are lying or your kids are also drug addicts. I won't take number one. I will take number two. You found out your kids are also drug addicts. That is where the problem is right now. That's why you could not report. Do you understand? Secondly, again, Nigerian see people can see what I was trying to tell you. That this was never about justice for Mubad. But all of now they shout very dark bad they don't want attack me. Everybody just talk to me bad bad bad. I told you it was never about justice for Mubad. They wanted to pin it on him because everybody have a needing agenda. And like I said, there's somebody somewhere that is financing the movement. Mubad's wife is being 100 percent manipulated. They know what happened to the boy. These other people hijacked it. You think that's a release? That's when my bad wife was saying, and she, now nah, they ain't telling me, post that. You know what I'm saying? And then, secondly, now, secondly, now, let me play this video. I sent one of my sons to you, one of my adopted sons to you that also wanted to go into music. Thank God you even helped me reject it. Hey, you don't, you don't um, do this kind of music. His music is too funny. Thank you for Another, if you don't hear again, the same person said, ah, the less her picking drink. She tried to send another person, make the boy sign the person. The boy no gris sign a godson, I mean her son. But um, Neramali no gris sign person where she wants. This woman carry those boys for mind. There's nothing where you won't tell me. It is a personal agenda. So I'm going to tell me saying a politics. Do you understand? She should not talk her own now. She don't talk her She don't talk two things. It is a personal interest. No body. Sam Clef told me all hard that it is not about justice for Mubad. I swear on God. I've told Sam Clef to swear how many times with his khaki and his kids. He refused. People want to find justice, find the truth justice. Say, all those people that are supporting the Ramali, is it about the support? It's about the justice. No support. We are not, it is not football where you go support Man U and Chelsea. You don't support anybody in cases like this. You stay neutral. Anybody where you know say you get for you call out that one. Call out this one. Call out this one. Now only for this case, I hear say he's supporting the Ramali. Does it make sense to you? Is it a supporter score? Is it a fan base? Is it a football team? You bash Neramali where he says it's wrong. You bash the wife where he says it's wrong. You bash the father where he says which I've been doing so far. But they say no. It is not I bash the father. Do you understand? Especially when they, when the way they take bury the boy, I don't bash the father. Do you understand? I don't bash Neramali with a with a rugged man video. When I talk say no, be today they start. I don't bash Samladi. Do you understand? Then only for me to start with the wife based on my investigation, everybody starts with the para. He say you are supporting. Now, at the end of the day, here's what I just want to tell you. If you people still don't know who this lover is by now, then you people know who are not really smart. Is it with the Yoruba right up? If you don't know who this lover is, <laughs> you are not smart. I'm telling you. But then again, nobody is after who this lover is. It is after their credibility, me I'm after. So that you people will know how many lie, the way they lie. First of all, they said I was paid, they're not giving a receipt. Do you understand? They usually bring proof. I don't know why they do not bring proof. Do you understand? A lot of things that they have said without proof. Neramali na ekpayan, we proof, na no bring proof. Neramali beats the boy, we proof, na no bring proof. For Neramali, we don't talk about Samlari now. We proof, na no bring proof. Now she don't say they spike drink, we proof. They say they go to DNA test, we proof, they no bring proof. All these things, and people cannot see what's going on. You all will learn. And you all will learn the hard way. Don't play. Don't play. You will learn the hard way.